same great features as before, but this one's got a left hand printed on the ruler, and you'll see this beautiful teal band across the top of my label. It has a left hand. It's got the one inch grid markings. There are hash marks in between each one inch for quarter inches and eighth inches. It has fine white markings in between there, which you'll notice go horizontal along this edge till they hit this diagonal line and then they change direction. So it's great for squaring up half square triangles, squares, fussy cutting, whatever you're gonna use it for. It has our exclusive non-slip embedded grip. And if I flip it over, you can see that on these two edges, it's a quarter of an inch wide, and on the other two, it's half of an inch wide. So there's a little extra grip there. It has centering lines. Right here is that bullseye. So since this is a six and a half inch ruler, I'm gonna be three and a quarter inches from this edge, three and a quarter from this edge, three and a quarter from this one and from this one, no matter which way I'm measuring. So if I need to find the center of something quickly, that's my starting point there. It has a 45 degree angle line that you see going from corner to corner here. And my favorite part, it is made right here in the USA. So let me show you how easy left-handed cutting can be. I have here a five inch strip, which I'm measuring with my ruler, and it's not even on the ends, and I'm going to make a project that needs some five inch squares. So I'm going to start by laying that ruler about an inch over the right hand side of the edge of fabric that I want to clean up. I've laid my strip along the grid on the mat, and I've got my ruler lined up on the perpendicular grid as well. I'm going to add slight pressure like the instructions tell me and run my cutter up that left hand side of the ruler. The really nice thing you can see here is that these numbers in the white circles are all right side up and facing me. If I wanted to do the next cut in a whole inch increment, I've got one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to six and a half to choose from. But like I told you, I want some five inch squares. So I'm going to line it up with the five on my raw edge on the right side of my fabric. You can see it comes down to a corner here on that diagonal line and goes back across to the five over here. So I know I'm going to get a square when I'm done. Pick up that ruler, move it again. And now I remember, oh, I need some five by two and a half for something else, maybe a rail fence I'm going to make or some other project. I am going to turn that ruler around. That's that great turnaround feature that we talk about with the ruler. And look at what is right side up now. Now I've got the half inch marks showing right side up. I'm going to kind of ignore these guys because I'm still going to cut a five inch square. And I can see on my mat here, look at this, I'm five and a half instead of five. So I'm going to move it down a little bit. Except for I want a two and a half inch piece, so I'm going to move it even further. And there we go. Before you cut, I always double check that measurement. And if I don't double check, sometimes I make a miscut and that's my own fault because I didn't double check my recipe for the quilt or the list that I'm cutting off of. But here I am. I've got a five inch piece. I want a two and a half inch wedge from it. Lining that up, applying some pressure, sliding that blade along the left hand side of the ruler. And there you have it. Now I've got some half square triangle squares I want to trim up. So I'm going to see how big they are to start with. I'm going to lay my ruler on here, lining up that diagonal line with my seam line. 
I started with a layer cake, so I got eight of them out of the layer cake. And now it looks like I can easily get a four and a half inch square. Can you see that on there? Here's the four to half. And wait, if I turn my ruler around, it's even more visible since the white circles are my whole numbers. Let's use that turnaround feature. Look at how easy that was. So now I'm all the way on my square by at least a little bit. I've lined that diagonal line up. I'm gonna apply that slight pressure and carefully cut up to the top and then across the top as well. Pull that little bit away. Line that four and a half an inch up again, checking that diagonal seam line and cleaning up the other two sides. Now, if you've misread your pattern and you really needed a smaller one, maybe I want a four inch. I can come back, line this up so I've got four inches on top of there, fits all the way on top of the square, etc. In no time at all, I'm going to have these all trimmed up and ready to go, and my quilt is going to be done and ready for quilting. The lines that come along here, these white lines, help me to find that square line up in there, so I find those to be very handy too. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram to stay up to date with our newest rulers, tools, and videos. To find a shop near you or one of our trusted online retailers, visit creativegridsusa.com and click on the Where to Buy tab. And I'll see you all real soon.